welcome back to my channel star of heart i'm star of heart i mean i'm star okay today i'm gonna finish up the sausage at least i think i am i'm trying to what i'm gonna do is pick random colors other than the metallics because i already used the metallics i put all the metallics over here This way because this is one of the metallics, and this way. Now, if I happen to grab a metallic, I'm just gonna put it back. So, picking one random oh, this is two, this is four. So I believe I did two, two colors on most of them. I'm going to try to fit ten colors on there. Let's see. Do the brush side first. Let's see. Try to be creative. Figure out a way to get more colors on here. Put some swatches in there. I don't have them all out at the same time, but I'm trying to remember swatches while I'm using it, so I can just put it away. can see that on this darker paper it's not white some some of the uh, markers need a double coat or at least more than one coat put that one over here got a really easy acrylic marker so I have to be careful because it will cover up the other marker. Try to keep somewhat clean edge. I'm going to lay down a couple of coats. The more pastel colors. This method works better. Just color like you would normally color. And then you try to do only a couple in one spot. Switch that one. It's dawned on me. I need to make sure that you guys can see that. You may not see my put it down in the pigments, but I want to make sure you see. I was like, I just take that off and put the same one back down there. That way, it marks over it just fine. That's a pretty blue green. Two. 
we need to get four down. Since I haven't used this color on here, I'm going to let that be one of the colors. And I used it on another video, but not on here. Get rid of the swatch there. Put the pigment down. Should be dry now. It's working. I think it's easy to see because it's on the dark background. Let's make sure that's clean. So I like to kind of drop my mark. Trying to get ten on each square. <laughs> I almost blend it in. I think I separated these because these look so similar. Those two. It's almost like it blended in. I got 10 colors on there, finally. Now, since the blending bar is fully full but filled up, I'm just going to pick a spot here. pick some more colors to blend or to change the colors but I'm trying to show them beside each other almost can't see that Yellow turned out brighter than I thought it would be. Thought it'd be like a mustard yellow because of the top. These markers do not match the cap. I'm gonna take it off. It looks like it will, but then it's a different yellow. All right, 
deposit this block got the other four I'll just put these up and pick another random Four of them. Ah, that's the metallic. Put that one back. Okay. Alright. Moving on. I didn't already color this. I got more room to work. Wait for a two percent black bond in there. You can kind of see through it because these are pastel colors. I like it, they're pretty. Swap to the next one. Same thing with this one. A little bit of pastel colors in there, at least two or three coats. And pass over it, let it dry, then pass over it again. I really love doing this multicolor thing. It kind of makes sense because I also like doing multicolored hair. Two to three colors. This is going to be one of my trademarks for my stuff. Try to get it in each art piece as much as possible. When I'm doing more realistic stuff, I'll just find a way to try to do it, but try to keep it close to realistic. Some of these are hard to get off, but some of these are easy to get off. I want to make the light color into dots. Okay, so what I'm going to do is make a solid color. And then put the light colored dots on top. Because it seemed to work better that way. With me swatching these and the other skin tone Shuttle, Shuttle Art Marker, Skin Tone, and Macopic. I can use those on the the uh, coloring project I wanted to do. I don't know if I'm going to be able to manage to do it this week like I plan to. But I could, I guess, I could do like a couple of them on that page and make sure I have more than one copy before I do. Okay, see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So I'm going to need. need Okay, so the dots will take care of that. Two more after that. Let's 
Smashers. I kind of like the colors coming all the way down, but I'm only going to do one dot, so I'm just going to have to have the color up there. Hmm. Yeah, because it's kind of crowded down here. My fingers don't grip very well, so I'm opening these markers like I'm a little kid. Just in case you have seen somebody with these markers. I'm a mile, and they don't seem to have trouble opening them. <laughs> don't know why I'm having trouble. I can feel like pinching in my muscles, trying to make my hands and stuff jerk. So I'm trying to time it with some of the spasms. When I move up, Usually the hand is trying to go up. But those these dry really fast. Did I forget to swatch it? I forgot to swatch that one. Sometimes I can't control it and you just see it like smudge or have a sudden smear up. I usually pick days that I have pretty good control, so you won't see it very often. Start on the side that should be dry. I really like working with these because these are so smooth. Now, how smooth they are on their coloring and their blending is a little harder because of the type of paper. Go side by side. It's the only way you can tell those ones. So far, I'm thinking that the rating system is probably going to be the same for all these markers because they seem pretty uniform in how the ink flows. All of them again. One, two, three. Oops. I didn't look for that marker. I had my hands with my eyes closed so I didn't see it. one again. <coughs> this one not. This one is. Uh, turn my head, pick up another random. Okay. Alright. Just gonna go with it. This is a larger area. And I can see how these pins might be a little bit of trouble with large areas where you need, there's not as much detail and you need more room for paint or you need a wider paint brush. Like the nib is not wide enough. It's perfect for this a level of detail. But if it was like a portrait sized person, it might be a little bit of a challenge to try to keep it from streaking because these dry so fast. I'm going to let that dry before I overlap that color. Pick another random color. Huh. Just grabbing stuff. That is similar. Oh, at least I thought it was similar. 
this looks like a type of brown more than br more brown than orange Try to keep the marker grainy and keep going the same direction. Okay. Swatch. I forgot to swatch that one. Oh, I haven't used the other side yet. When you start mixing up the markers, that's when you start having the differences. Like, instead of getting to match it like these, it's just random. But these worked out pretty good, like lucky. Let's see. Since this looks like a brown, I'm going to put it on this side. Just so it doesn't get too blended in. with this marker. I knew it was going to be similar brown. Different brown, but similar enough. This side. This looks like a gray brown. It's just different enough that you can see it. This is a bright orange. At least I'm putting them pretty much together. I should have did that. Should have thought that through and did the same thing up there. Because I think I did the same thing here. For ones that went together. Maybe I didn't. Well, I'm going to start doing it from now on then. So I could tell which one goes on the same marker. Looks like that kind of looks like a white and a gray. Definitely white. Maybe it's not a gray, maybe it's a black. It could be a gray. Let's watch this. Gonna keep the markers side by side as much as possible so you can see which ones came off the same one. Okay, this is a very faint gray. I guess while I wait for that to dry, let's do it like this. Tell these would blend really well. The ones on the same markers. Uh, for the most part. This bright orange would probably not really blend well with the other brown. It would make a nice difference in color. Getting all of them on here is a little difficult because I already colored in the other ones. And as before, I decided to do like 10 colors. I 
some of these bars are longer and some of them are shorter. Definitely the people like longer. Let me stop over here. Use this one. Probably should do the yellow on that one. They're still visible. Now some of these would be great for highlights. Make a quick green down and you want to shine, show like a shining spot. And then use the yellow on the same marker to make it look like it was shining in the middle or on the edges. That's why there's green. Looks like it's glowing. Next four. You'll grab it. This one's a bad word. putting these where I'm not actually going to grab them the same colors again. Thank goodness I thought about that. Alright. So I'll do dark color for each wing. I'll put a bright spot on the top. And it does have a grain, so you don't want to color against the grain because it does make it rough. Like it's smoother coming from this side over instead of from that from this side that way. Watch this one. Just because my hand touched it. Let's hope that here is nice to fit so I can get this done before sleepy time. I will still have to get up anyway. My weekend doesn't start till Sunday. Today's Friday where I am. It's almost the color of this paper. Put the dots on top because I do the bright colors. I'll just get it in. Put this down here while that dries. Try to lean up against you. Alright. 
Oh, yeah, you'll be able to see that one. That's not having the bright color on the inside of it. I thought I had to fill it up for a second there. So I got uh, two more. Two more colors coming. Put that in here. Those are both similar in color. To the side. Put that another. I'll stop here for a moment so I have a pause spot. Because we went nowhere, Chris. Almost been 40 minutes. Of the wind is going to make some dark stripes in it. I'll make each blue section a little different. Side, so that can dry. I always say these would be a great light and darks of each other. Dark lines. Feels like there's more than one black. There's a shiny black, and then there's this black, which is dark gray. Like there was more than one light. So I'm gonna do a color below the heart this time because it's no longer warm. I guess I should have made it the different blues the other way around. I wasn't really looking at that. They're almost the same, but the one's shiny. Oh, 
is what I put down here. Get these first while that dries. Just so I can get it on my hand. Got it on my hand anyway, so they missed the spot. See the difference in those two. And then in this last spot with those two. Can't even see them really. Make sure that's straight still. Blue. I went doing render swatches. I could like do all the blues and the greens like in the fading in the blending bar, but that would take a lot of time. I was hoping to get this done on one on one video. I managed to figure out how to do it on one sheet. I was thinking this is gonna be a finale, but what I'm gonna do is break this up because I'm going almost 50 minutes. So. I'm going to pick up on this side next week, but I might still color a few of the little girls on that one sheet. I might do a different sheet so that you guys can see them, what some of these acrylic markers used on them, and some of the skin color tone, skin tone markers used on them. This is going to be a really long, like more than an hour. And then I'm not going to be able to sit still. I'm going to start making a lot of mistakes. I'm already getting uncomfortable. I guess I'll have to put this beside the other one to see if it was a different black. That's all for now. Cascade. Thanks for watching. I will see you guys next week for this side. And see you guys later week for a couple of the little girls. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment. At least subscribe and like. <laughs> and as usual. Hi. Don't have to worry about her getting it because it dried up already.